Hi, good Sunday morning, everybody. Welcome to the Annabelle Report. I'm Alan Harwell. So glad you tuned in today. It's an extra special day here at ABC. Don't forget we have the Christmas Festival to play later this afternoon. And don't forget here at the Welcome Center, we've got coffee mugs for sale, just 10 bucks, and these good-looking Annabelle t-shirts. I love them. We have plenty in stock right now. These are just 20 bucks. And we have these good-looking caps right here, Annabelle Baptist caps. They're they're a hot seller. They're just 20 bucks, and of course it goes to the building fund. The news team is standing by, lots to talk about. Let's get right to it. We're so excited to finally have Celebrate Recovery right here at our church. We have Mr. Jennifer here to tell us more about it. We are looking for people who want to love and disciple anyone who has a hurt, habit, or hang up. We're having a leadership training on Thursday, January 9th. At 6.30, we would love to have you come. If you have any questions or would like to help out, Jennifer's number is in the bulletin, or you can contact the church office. All right, calling on ABC veterans. I know you guys have been meeting recently at Bill Miller's, but a special event is coming up on Saturday, December 14th. Meet at the Veterans Cemetery at 10 a.m. and help lay wreaths. It's going to be a great day. If you need more information, contact Mike Griesman. His number is listed in the bulletin. Well, these are exciting times here at ABC, and of course, we've got the holiday Christmas schedule to tell you all about. It's in your bulletin, but just want to remind you about a few dates here. Don't forget on Sunday, December 22nd, joint family service, 9 a.m., 11 a.m., no Sunday school that day, and no 6 p.m. service. On Tuesday, Christmas Eve, December 24th, we've got our candlelight service. You have two services to choose from, 5.30 and 7 o'clock. And then, of course, on Wednesday, Christmas Day, no Wednesday service. And then on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, church office will be closed for the Christmas holidays. And don't forget, always check your bulletin for any updates or changes. And of course, the excitement is building later today. We have the Christmas festival starting at four o'clock. Shanna is standing by. And Shanna, tell us all about it. I know you can't wait, right? Yes, Alan, I am super excited for the Christmas festival. It's going to be tonight from four to seven, and we are going to have food trucks. We're going to have gigs, all the inflatables. We're going to have games. We're also going to have hot chocolate and this whole station of uh, different family games that you can play. And then at seven, you definitely want to stay around and go to the play that's going to be inside the church. This is a community event. It's free. So please invite people to hear about Jesus. Well, the drama team has done a tremendous job, and check out the set here. I mean, it is very realistic. It's going to be great because later today, we, of course, have the Christmas Festival at 4, followed by the Christmas play at 7. And because of that, there is no Awana, there is no Children's Choir, and, of course, there's no evening service tonight. And coming up in just two days on Tuesday, we have Young at Heart. Yeah, from noon to 3 o'clock in the Family Life Center. Young at Heart meets on the second Tuesday of each month. And for anybody retired or over the age of 60, come join us for a fun-filled afternoon of table games, fellowship, and lunch, of course, will be provided. We'll see you there. Man, I must tell you, this is a rather comfortable couch, without a doubt. Hey, don't forget on Wednesday, we have church services for all ages starting at 6.30. And of course, we have Awana on Wednesday as well. The theme for this week is decorate a leader. The most covered leader wins. That could be interesting. And of course, be thinking about who's your one. Do you have one yet? It's never too late. Sometimes it's someone really close to you. Could be your family member, friends, maybe even a co-worker. Sometimes it's just someone you just met. So pray, encourage, and share the gospel because you can make a difference in their life. All right, that's a wrap for this week's Anvil Report. We'll see you back here at 4 o'clock for the Christmas festival. Go out and make it a great day and a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you next time.